Hi students, welcome. Today we are going to discuss about how to draw a projections of points. So our question is, draw the projection of the following points on a common reference line by keeping the projections 25 mm apart. Clear? So in that one the seven subdivisions are there, point A to up to G. Okay. So in this problem, clearly they given the following points on a common reference line. So you draw one common reference line. So this is x, y, clear. By keeping the projections 25 mm apart. So therefore, so this is point A projection. You draw the projection lines. Okay, some above and infinite distance. Clear. That is you draw one vertical line perpendicular to the x, y. Then 25 mm apart, another projection line. B projection, C projection, D, E, F and G, clear. So you draw that n number of projection lines. Then because each, each and every ones are 25 mm apart, clear. And then first question, point A 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of PP. So you know well. So 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of BP means the point A is lies in first quadrant. So 30 mm above HP from XY 30 mm above HP. So this is the point clear. So it is a projection of point caps A. Therefore your answer is small a front U. So it is mentioned by A dash. So the distance from XY is 30 mm. So the distance is 30 mm and 20 in front of VP. So this first quadrant in front of VP that top view projection is projected on horizontal plane, horizontal plane tilt 90 degree clockwise means we get below XY. So this is from XY here to here, here to here XY distance is from XY in front distance 20 mm. So this one is A, clear. So 30 mm above HP, 20 in front of VP of given point A. Next point B, 30 mm above HP and in VP. So point B is 30 mm above HP. This is B means front view B dash and in VP. In VP means it's nothing but it lies on XY. So this one is top view B. In VP, so it lies in XY. Next point C, 35 mm in front of VP, in front of VP means below XY, 35 mm in front of VP, this is 35 from XY to here, 35 in front of VP that is top view and in HP, in HP means the front view is completely lies on XY, clear, that's one. Next thing, point D, 40 mm above HP, so above HP means above XY, 40 mm above XY, clear. So this is 40 mm above XY, it is point D front view, so it is D dash and 20 behind VP. So behind VP means that also is above XY because the 40 mm above HP and 20 behind VP is nothing but the point D is lies in second quadrant. So both front view and top view is lies above XY. So 20 behind means here to here, 20 behind. So this point is D top U. Next point E. 25 mm below HP and 30 mm behind VP. So below HP behind VP. So the point E lies in third quadrant. So 25 mm below HP. This is 25 mm below HP. That is point E front view means E dash. This distance is 25 mm and 30 mm behind VP. Here to here above XY that is behind VP is this one. So it is top view E and F point, the point F clear is 35 mm below HP. So 35 mm below HP, the point F, this is 35 mm below HP, F means F dash and 25 in front of VP, 25 in front of VP, that also is lies in below XY because the below HP in front of VP means the point F lies in fourth quadrant. So this is below HP and behind in front of VP. And last point, point G is lies on both HP and VP. Both HP and VP means it's both 
point from projection g means g dash and top you g small g both points lies in same x y because of both hp and vp clear so this is the projection of the given points and then how to mention the dimensions we know that so from uh, points you draw the extension line you draw the extension line the first dimension line from object is 12 mm or otherwise 15 mm okay so you draw one thin continuous line that is called dimension line you put arrow marks arrow marks ratio you know well is l equal to 3w so the distance point a how much they given 30 mm above hp they given and 20 in front of vp similar case this one is point b dimension 30 mm above hp and in vp so like that you mention all the points dimensions clear so here unwanted extra projection lines please erase it okay these things only necessary length is enough clear so this is your final yes thank you